sat down with Mayor Greg Fisher this morning to talk about our justice system and why we haven't heard much when it comes to Breonna Taylor's investigation. Here's what he had to say about her case. The case file has been with the Attorney General now for almost four weeks when it was substantially complete then. By that we need 95 percent. Uh, now all we're doing is responding to calls for any further information from the Attorney General. So, you know, by state law, uh, the next step is with him and he'll be investigating the case file. He told me that he's been doing that since uh, it arrived there three and a half week, four weeks ago now. And then he will be deciding uh, if there'll be charges filed in this case, what they will be. Uh, he will have to provide the timeline on that. I've obviously encouraged him to make that as quick as he possibly can. I've heard mostly though, is that people don't trust that system. So for yeah. instance, if the investigation, if the AG comes back and says, we are not going to charge them, then would you allow them to work on the police force? No, and I totally understand that. We're asking people to trust a system, which many have said, I've never trusted this. This hasn't provided justice for people to look like me. So, and when I say me, I'm saying African-American. Uh, so what I have done is, you know, called in the FBI, U.S. Attorney, uh, Attorney General to look at the case as well to make sure the facts are there. We should all agree on the facts, and then we'll have to see what the outcome is from the Attorney General at that point in time. But that's the, that is the next step in this process. Again, I've encouraged him to move as quickly as possible. Would you take steps if you felt like the, the end was not what you hoped for? Uh, based on the evidence of the case, absolutely. The contract negotiations with the police force and you guys have been ongoing for some time. Are you seeing this moment right now as an opportunity to add certain things to those contracts? Yeah, yeah, the police, well, there's a six month extension of the contract right now, so it will go through the end of the year. Uh, obviously, there's all types of uh, discussions that are taking place around policing and communities. Uh, there's also a big financial unknown at this point in time uh, with city budgets across America due to the coronavirus. So what we're waiting, one of the things we're waiting on is what will the U.S. Senate be doing? Uh, the House passed a relief bill called the HEROES bill. Uh, that was designated to help cities and states in America. Uh, that went to the Senate. It's with the Senate right now. Uh, I hope that the Senate will be finalizing their decision here sometimes in July so that we can have some visibility as to what our budget situation is. And so we can address this whole concept of public safety, right? Policing is just one part of public safety. Uh, you, have, you have, and they're the enforcement part. We have prevention, we have intervention, and then you have uh, the enforcement. So what we need as a city is more resources in prevention and intervention, the type of work we tried to do in our office for safe and healthy neighborhoods. So when if there's a problem in the community, the right first responder shows up. We know that right now we are immediately addressing police, but there is a lot of information out there that inequality starts right in our education systems. Yesterday's announcement uh, with, H with uh, Simmons was a joint announcement between Kentucky State, the public HBCU, and our private HBCU, Simmons College, to produce even more African-American teachers. Uh, so kids at JCPS see teachers that look like them. And then also the launching of what's called Kerner 2.0. The Kerner Commission report was written in 1968 after the riots in America at that time. And it was a prescription for creating an America that was a equal, America. Uh, tragically, those recommendations were not listened to. And you can read the report today and it, it reads like it was written one month ago. So we have got to get it right right now. Uh, Simmons College will be leading that education effort for the community. Uh, they're also having a fundraising drive to get 300 scholarships uh, for students at, at Simmons. Uh, it's a tremendous way to invest and I would encourage all people, especially white Louisville and white America, to look at Simmons College and our HBCUs and support them.